friends. Hello, hello. <laughs> we are Robin and Leland Jones. Yep, and that's our it, names. Yep. As it shows on our slide, we are OGs. And when I put that on the slide, I get a call from corporate. They're like, what's OGs? You guys know what that means, right? Like OGs? Original gangster. So I have been with doTERRA. This is my is 17th convention at it's a doTERRA. Lot. It's a lot. Been here Good. from the beginning. So it makes sense that doTERRA would ask us to talk about the kids' collection. Because we have our own collection of kids. Yeah. <laughs> we have eight children. So we have four biological, thank you, four biological children, four adopted children, and yay adoption. And um, our oldest just graduated high school, and she yep. is actually getting ready to do a service mission in Ecuador for 18 months. And then our youngest is six years old. And so we're, we're really entering a new era of parenting out of the 17 years of convention. 14 of those were pushing strollers and babies. So it's, we're still kind of getting used to this whole thing. Yeah, and we, like, before we got married, we talked about having kids. And we thought, yeah, we'd have two, maybe three. But the fact that we have eight... It just means we're bad at math. Really bad yeah. at math. Yeah. So like as a wedding registry, we should have put calculators on there. You know, sure. Something like that. Yeah. So the oils came out six years ago. So six years ago, we got the collection. We've been using them for six years. And so some of our kids, like literally, they've been growing up with the oils. And so not on purpose, but our home is like its own little, I don't know, case study. Not that we meant to do it that way, but we got a lot of good stories about how we've used those oils, and that's what we want to share. But also, like, I'm, a, I'm an adult. I'm, I'm, well, at least, like, I hope that's what I look like. I'm an adult man, and I use these oils too, and so does she. Yeah. So we talk about kids, kids' collection, but they are for all of us. Yeah, so this collection came out six years ago, and that was when I had my youngest child, and so... Our children really have grown up with this collection. We utilize this collection a lot. So we know that you can probably go to doTERRA's website. You can see other resources on the benefits of these oils. But with our presentation, we're hoping to give you some real, raw, <laughs> uh, practical ways that you can use them that, and some fresh perspectives. For those of you who know me, you know that I am passionate or very obsessed with the essential oils and the role that they play with our emotions. And so our emotions, our beliefs, they're stored in our bodies. And many times that manifests in physical sensations and outcomes. And so my hope for you today is that I can offer some different perspectives that, and maybe you can use these a little bit differently than maybe you have before. So let's start with the, the Brave, which is the Courage Blend. So some of you guys may have used this for in your daily practice for helping with doubt or stress and worry and really connecting to that inner strength. So I just want to take it even deeper for a moment. So this is our oldest daughter, Kennedy, and she was heavily invested in a school sanctioned program all through high school, so from freshman to senior year. Well, in her senior year, she was really having a hard time because there were kids in this program that were making racial jokes and racial slurs. And she was standing up to them, but she was getting no help from the advisors and the teachers to really take it seriously. And she was feeling really conflicted about this. So we encouraged her to use the Brave Blend along with lavender and spearmint. And as she was utilizing and, and getting that aroma, it was helping her to just remind her of the inner courage that she really had for this and to have the courage to speak up. Ultimately, she did have that courage and she chose to leave and stood up. She was not willing to compromise her values. So here are some other, yeah. Oh, that's good. That was a good one. <laughs> so here are just some other ways that you can see on the slides of other ways that our children have been able, in situations they've been able to use this blend. Okay, calmer. So this is our bedtime routine blend, and it does not say that up there, but that's okay. Like, I know how to read and everything, but this is what we use it for. And so a lot of times in the home, we say the word 
bedtime and it can create a trigger in children to where that can create a little bit of worry or a little bit of, uh, we'll just say worry, it just creates a little bit of worry. And you know this to be true because it also happens to adults. So like I get in bed, I want to go to sleep and I'm like, good night brain. And then my brain's like, oh no, we're going to think about all the problems in the world. Or my brain's like, I'm going to remind you of every dumb thing you've ever said. It's a long night. It's a long night. So we use Calmer as part of a bedtime routine, like a good, healthy bedtime routine. You can't just yell at your kids and be like, go to bed and then put Calmer on them. That doesn't work. It has to be part of a good bedtime routine. So in their rooms, we have the oils. We put it on their neck, the back, on their, along their spine, the bottom of their feet. And we're trying to create this scent memory. So they start remembering the times where they felt safe and secure being tucked into bed by mom and dad and that this aroma is there. And I want to give you a pro tip. When you're putting this on your children, put it on yourself. So then after you brush your own teeth, you don't have to remember to go put the oil back on. Yes. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, our next one is rescuer. Rescuer. There's an ER on the end of that one. Okay, so this is a good one for helping with growing pains. But there's another type of growing pains that kids go through that a lot of people don't talk about. This is the ones where kids have to face their challenges. And it can be really hard on parents. Like, it's hard on the kid. But come on, let's talk about the parents. It's hard on the parents, too. you got to watch them go through it. And it can be really scary. So this beautiful young lady, this is our daughter. This is Penelope. We adopted her from Alabama. Any Alabamans? Yeah, no. Okay, no, no. Oh. <laughs> and she's all about NASCAR. Oh, we got one. You, good job. <laughs> Anyways, she gets anxious feelings in social settings. And when I say that, that is an understatement. So if we're like here, like in a setting like this, and I want to talk to people, she'll come up and kick me in the shins because then she knows I'll take her to time out. And then she gets out of the situation. Yeah, pretty smart, smart kid. So anyways, she has this oil. She has it in her backpack. She knows how to put it on. She knows where to put it on. And then she knows when she puts it on that she's going to breathe in that aroma and she's going to think encouraging thoughts. So this is what helps her get on the bus in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Yes. You're clapping for Alabama. I can, <laughs> I can tell. So with those eight kids, six of them are girls. Yeah. Ooh, what was Not that? Said, right? This is Not a said. room full of women. Why didn't we cheer for that? So, <laughs> yes. Thank you. We Thank love you. the women. We love the girls. And with <laughs> those, like we it. are acutely aware of the unique challenges that girls, young women, especially our girls of color, are facing as they're growing up. They are getting bombarded with messages of what it means to be pretty how nice girls need to behave yeah, yeah. and all sorts of conflicting and um, how they how they need to play a certain role so um stronger is often thought to be used for seasonal threats but i would ask you to consider and invite you to think of using it for all types of environmental threats or messages that may be coming in from different ways that are totally affecting the well-being of your children in this way, including adults. Including adults. And then this next story highlights the profound effect that essential oils, deep breathing, calming activities can have on the nervous system, especially when we're overwhelmed with uncertainty and facing traumatic events. So just a few months ago, our 16-year-old daughter, Isabel, was involved in a very horrible accident yeah. and suffered a very traumatic injury. And that first night in the hospital, in the ICU, was overwhelming as far as we were waiting for the outcome of the test and wondering if she needed to go into emergency surgery. And um, Isabel herself was just so overcome with fear and not knowing what her future would hold. And so I had steady in my bag, in my purse with me. And I just remember rubbing it on my hands, cupping it over her nose and her mouth, rubbing it on the bottom of her feet. And it was transformational to see her terrified eyes just soften 
to see her muscles that were tense just relax a little bit more and to just see her begin to start taking deeper breaths. And so as we, um, luckily we would, uh, we would, I would continuing to use that throughout that night along with frankincense and lavender. And um, it was great to be able to offer her when panic would start to set in again for her to be able to just, th these, this aroma just soothed and allowed her to be able to process and just talk about what she was experiencing in real time. And by the grace of God and many prayers from our doTERRA family, she, we saw a miracle and she was able to leave and our, the outcome was just way better than we could have ever expected. Yeah. It was terrifying, <laughs> yeah. totally terrifying. You know, as we were in the hospital and, and just finishing out and continuing to do what we needed to do, those, those oils, steady especially, was just a superhero for us to be able to rely on and just navigate a very challenging time for her and for, us. Yeah, for us as well. Okay, so this is a picture of my son, Phoenix. So a couple years ago, the school calls me and they're like, your son... He left his backpack and his shoes on the bus. So as I'm trying to figure out how that's happened, they're like, you need to come pick him up. He's in distress. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, yeah, he brought some ghost peppers on the bus. And it's like a longer bus ride. Like we live in the middle of nowhere. And so he eats them on the bus. And when he got to the school, he had to like sprint off the bus. And I guess he took his shoes off or whatever. So I need to head to the school. So I have Sprite, I have a gallon of milk, and I have Tamer. So when I pick them up, it's like, yeah, we're going to use the powerful aroma of Tamer that has digestive support, and he's going to drink a ton of milk and whatever else Google tells us to do. What bugs me about this story is when we tell it, Phoenix is always like, yeah, milk and Sprite taste terrible together. Yeah. I'm like, how yeah. about a different life lesson? Yeah. Like, stop that doing stupid stuff. How yeah. about that life lesson? <laughs> Yeah, that, that was his takeaway from it. Um, so Tamer really is an exceptional digestive blend. And actually, a lot of my adult clients and customers reach for that for themselves rather than for their kids it's because of all of those amazing benefits. Um, but I, I want to address a little bit about those emotional qualities. So when we have conflicted... Um, and confused thoughts and emotions, it can disrupt the lining of our gut. And the lining of our gut actually produces 90% of our feel-good neurotransmitters, like serotonin. 90%. So when we're having those conflicted feelings and thoughts, and that disruption can happen, especially when there's like a very intense experience that you or your children may be facing, uh, I love Tamer. It's such a great ally for being able to bring in, just pause, take a moment, take that aroma in, and be able to process through those thoughts and feelings. Okay, this is our last one, Thinker. So this is the focus blend. And look, like we're busy at home. You got... As are busy. We're all busy. Everybody's busy every day. Every Like, isn't it the best news when you get a text message and they're like, due to lightning, you know, flag football is canceled. You're like, sweet. You're like, oh, we can eat dinner at a normal time, not four o'clock or 10 o'clock at night. Like, that is the best. And so Thanker is a good blend to help you with. It's with, it's not so much time management that you're trying to control a clock. It's more like Thinker is going to help you prioritize your time. So you're going to use it doing the things that are most important to you. Also, you may or may not have children that have a hard time prioritizing or have a hard time staying on task or maybe choosing a task. And what makes me laugh about this picture is our daughter dancing here. Like we've already told her like 12 times, go clean your room. And here she is dancing. <laughs> so th thank her. This is a good one. This is a good one to help you in this situation. And I do sometimes wish like... Like you could just have like flames shoot out of your eyes as a parent to like really get your point across. So that's why I don't believe in evolution because I think at this point as parents, like that's what would be happening and it just hasn't happened. <laughs> hasn't happened. Amen. Okay. So anyways, this isn't complicated. Oh, we're out of time. 
This isn't complicated. This presentation was designed to be for children, so we really dumbed it down. So if we confused you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't mean to be rude, but it wasn't that complicated. It's not us. It's not, it's not you. Us. It's, it's, it's you. You're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Well, hopefully, given what we've shared, hopefully inspired, you guys have gleaned a little bit of different ways and perhaps thinking about different ways that you can use this. We really appreciate being able to share our lives, our stories with yep. you. Thank you all. Thank you. We love you.